In this video, I'm gonna be picking out three agates from different countries, drawing a bunch of lines on these with my Sharpie because I'm gonna be cutting them in three different orientations to find out, does it matter where you cut them for the best banded reveal? For those of you who don't know, when we cut agates, normally we cut it one time to try to get the best bands on the inside. But sometimes we wonder, was it the right place to cut it? So we're sacrificing, oh my gosh, I can't hold this thing. We're sacrificing an agate for science by cutting it three different ways to see. In these different orientations, does it matter? Let's find out. Here's our first reveal. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty sweet one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's the next way. Got some color in there. That's pretty sweet. Here's the first way. If I can do this. It's like that. Yeah, it's got a little bit more color that way. I guess the bands are similar, but that's pretty crazy. This is embarrassing. This way is cool, but you don't get as grand of a reveal. There's a lot of different pieces going on here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, join me on my struggle bus to show you all of this. Oh, it looks like a really good one. All right, so we cut it the long way. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful snowflakes. I thought I felt a void in there. It's got like a little geode pocket. We're missing a piece. It's over there, but you get the gist. That one is really sweet, those snowflakes. I'm actually pretty sad because this is really, really pretty, but giant. All right. Yeah, that one's broken in half. It's not gonna work out. This one's being a stinker, but I like the first way better compared to this way. It's a bigger face, you got more of those gorgeous snowflakes, but you can see it's still the full pattern. You can imagine it around the outside with those snowflakes. So, you gonna do this right or did I screw this up? Oh no. Oh no, I've lost it. Where were we? <laughs> I think it's this way, yeah. Folks, I lost my placement with this. You can see <laughs> from the bands, this one is about the same. It's got bands running throughout all of the pieces. And that little piece that broke off, it just threw me for a complete loop with these. But we got beautiful bands everywhere. And this is a Calandria Iga from Mexico. So I truly would say with a lot of these ones, you're gonna have a pretty fair shot at getting a beautiful banded reveal. They pretty much run throughout pretty fairly. I'm very interested though in our next one, this Black River Agate from Argentina. We have one little window here. We're gonna cut through the window, which we're not supposed to do. And we're gonna cut over here. That's the ideal cut placement right there. And then you're cutting through here through the window. You're not supposed to do that either. So, last cut. Let's see how it fares. These agates are super hard. This is gonna take a very long time. So I've decided to throw an audible. I'm gonna show you the reveal after this first cut. This is the least ideal cut placement. Then we're gonna cut it through the most ideal cut placement. We'll show you how that looks and then we'll struggle bus it with that third cut. I think that might be a little bit better of a reveal. It's a science. We're just trying to figure it out as we go, right? All right, let's see. Oh man, that's actually really, really cool. So as an agate cutting crazy man, I would never cut it in this spot right here. But look at that. That is really, really cool. The way that the bands run into there like that, and you got this really cool display. 
That is really awesome. Okay, don't forget that. Burn this into your memory. We're gonna cut it the way that I would normally cut it. All right, the ideal cut placement on this Black River agate. <laughs> See, that's what we're hoping for, right? You got beautiful bands. Look at that flow channel right there. And full pattern. That is what is the ideal result, the ideal reveal with cutting agates, that full pattern. So you cut into the window. Whoop. That's what you get. A little bit more color, kind of interesting. It's not always going to play out like that. But you cut away from the window on this side, you get that full pattern. That's really sweet. So now we're going to cut it and this is going to be a nightmare and it's not going to go well because there's a fracture here and a fracture here. <sighs> and that's where our line is. <laughs> Wish me luck. So before we check out that very last cut, I just want to say, do not try this at home. Let me do it. Let me take the risk with cutting that the way that I cut that. That was so sketchy. Don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> but I just want to say too, the saw and all the places that I get these rough agates and minerals from, they're all going to be linked in the description box below with my discount codes and they're all Taylor. So let's check out this awesome last cut and see how it fared. I'm glad we did it the way that we did it this last one. This is super awkward. All right, yeah, those fractures you can see right there start blowing out. But that, you gotta do it the other way. It's the wrong way. You gotta hold it the right way. Fingers work for me. All right, you can kind of see it. Get in place. All right, that's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. I think the full pattern is the ideal way to cut it for the most value in a stone. This way is pretty cool, but that first way we cut it is my second favorite because it is unique, really unique. Not something you see very often because everybody's trying to go for that full pattern. I like being different. I like uniqueness. I think it's pretty sweet, but this was a perfect example on cut placement. My, I, my best advice to give you, where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You know the window that was there? Cut with the window so you get the full pattern. That's the best advice I can give you. And you can see why. Well, I sacrificed three beautiful agates for science and the second one was a catastrophe. It blew up, but it was really fun getting to see with that Botswana agate. I don't think it mattered where you cut it. It's not gonna be like that every time, but it didn't matter for that one. There was an ideal cut, but how are you gonna know when there's no windows on the outside? Calandria agate from Mexico, it was very similar on every single cut orientation. That was really cool to see. Gives me a little peace of mind where sometimes it doesn't matter. Then the third one, the Black River agate from Argentina, it had a window, we cut it in a couple different ways. I think the best way to cut it is in the middle, the window's on the side, if that makes sense. You can go back and rewatch so I could explain it better a minute ago. But it was a lot of fun. I hope you had a blast where I sacrificed those agates for science. I hope it helped you learn something about agate cutting. Again, everything that I use and all these agates where you can get it's linked below. If you're new, hit that subscribe or follow button so you can join me on future fun rocksmithing projects. You guys are the best. You rock. We'll see you next time. Bye.